Hi, so this is going to be a really different kind of video. There's an issue going around for a lot of you and that is this black screen that you're finding for when you try and use AR Foundation. Now, I've been trying to figure out why this has been happening, right? I, I happened, it happened to me, you can see it in my, my, one of my previous videos, and I found the solution and it was a pretty simple solution. I'll, I'll show you what that is in this video as well, but obviously that hasn't worked for a lot of you. And I'm, I'm surprised, right, that this is happening, but I'm also finding it really difficult to find a solution for, for first of all, if this is happening to, happening to you, it's not your fault, right? This is just how things work with new technology. AR Foundation is still in preview, so there's going to be bugs, right? And I've, and just to show you that, this is like a, a the Unity Technologies issues page, and loads of people are having this issue, and some people are finding solutions to it, some people aren't, right? And I wanted to just see if well just to be honest with you i don't know why this is happening right i don't know and one of the reasons why it's very difficult for me to fix this issue is because i can't duplicate it on my machine i've tried to see if i could get that black screen the way it's happening to you guys and it's not happening to me and i can't figure out why so at first i was going to just say oh well like i can't help you guys i'm sorry and then i thought well maybe there's something else that we can do maybe i can't solve this issue as an individual and maybe you can't solve this issue as an individual and maybe we just have to wait for unity to come up with a solution themselves and that might happen in a later version but it might be a case that together we can try and isolate why this is happening to some of you guys and why it's not happening to other people and the only way we're going to do that is if we communicate together and we just share our findings right so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna do a few things right the first thing I want to do is I want us to I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to get AR foundation working from beginning to end just on the on the sample project the really simple sample project right and I want you to follow along if you have this bug, right? If you have this bug, please, please, please follow along. And I want you to do it exactly as I do it. Please don't just assume you did it this way or just think, oh, I, I'll just do this one, do it in a slightly different order. It has to be exactly the same way that I'm doing this because it might be just the slightest issue of, you know, uh, changing the builds from an Android to an iOS or or importing the AR foundations before or after the Xcode uh, plugins. It could be something small that we're overlooking. But if we do it together, and uh, if you follow this steps exactly as I'm going to do it, and you still have the issue, then it means that we need to communicate a little bit more, find out what you have that's different. Since your project is the same, since your code is the same, since your ver version of Unity is the same, since your version of AR Foundation is the same, we have to look at what's different. So what's different could be um, the bug only occurs for certain people in the editor. It could be that it only occurs on certain people's phones. It could be something to do with the camera permissions. It could be the version of Unity, uh, version of Android you have on your phone. It could be your phone itself, the version, the actual phone you have. Uh, but we're only going to really know the and um, be able to isolate what that issue is, or at least come closer to, or have a chance of isolating that issue, if we know what commonalities we have um, so I'm going to show you I'm going to talk you through what I do now please follow along and at the end of this video I'm going to ask you some questions and I'd really like you to answer those questions I'm also going to give you an example of how I'd like those questions answered so please use that leave a comment below and if enough people leave a comment below we'll be able to, I'm pretty sure we'll come pretty damn close to being able to solve this, or at least we'll have a, uh, as a community, we'll have a greater chance of being able to solve this and figure this out. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to need you to do is download Unity 2018.2.2 F1. Now, um, the second thing I'm going to need you to do is download the AR Foundation Samples Master dot zip file from my course page now this is a free tutorial here as well uh, you don't have to have bought the course you can just 
this is a part of the free section the preview section so just download this as well and this way we have the exact same unity version and the exact same ar foundation version right so now we have the same stuff which is good so we can we're trying to isolate what the difference is between us for, from someone who's worked for us working and someone who's not working so once you've done that i want you to go to file on unity uh open project you'll also need to unzip that um that project as well then uh, unlock unzip that ar foundation project then i want you to go to file open and locate that so i've got that project here right what i'm going to do is i'm just going to straight away open that f open that project up and i'm going to i'm happy with all of this this is all fine uh, in fact actually what i'm going to do is yeah i'm going to leave it as a so current build type means it's it's um it's like a, the windows on mac one and so i don't know how many of you have unity hub i'm going to assume you don't have unity hub so i'm going to leave the current build type as zero so i think it might be android but let's see right let's open this up okay so this project uh, so i got this issue here that, that it's just not a big one it's just the matching project the the version that they made ar foundation was 2018.1.1 f1 and we've obviously got 2.2 .2, so that's fine so we're going to hit continue on this and we're going to open this up okay so that's done now i'm going to just uh, ignore this update issue and clear this stuff here just if you want to see this is the stuff that pops up for me um it might be interesting to see if you have any different stuff um but that's this is what i've got here in my console as soon as i open the project up let me know if you had something different so i'm going to go to file build settings and i'm going to go from uh, obviously i don't want this pc mac one i'm going to go to android so i'm going to hit select android and switch to android okay so we've got android selected here and um, we've also got in our builds scenes build the sample scene so let's just work off of that one let's go to our project click on scenes and select sample scene and drag that in and remove our other one now we'll notice here you'll see it as i do a black screen right so i'm going to go to ar session select my camera and I'm going to go to the clear flags and I'm going to select sky box. And when I do that, the it clears the black screen. So I would like you to first of all tell me if when you do that, the black screen goes, right? Um, that's the first thing I'd like you to do, at least in the editor. Uh, maybe it doesn't work uh, on the device, but first tell me that. Then um, that's the, I'd really like to know that actually. That's a good starting point. Okay, so the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to my build settings. I'm going to check my player settings and I just want to check a few things. I want to make sure that uh, the multi threaded rendering is off. Uh, I'm also going to change the package name. Immediately, I'm going to change the package name. I'm going to put it as mine, um, my name and then just black screen make sure there's no dots at the end of it i'm also going to change the minimum api level from seven to eight now uh the reason i'm changing it to eight now usually it used to do seven but i'm changing it to eight because now uh, android is uh, moving away from seven now just so that's just a small thing but let's just do that anyway i'm going to make sure these target architectures are all the same so make sure you have those from for, for me as uh, as same as mine as well I'm going to go down and this is also really really important go to the xr settings make sure none of these are on and i know we're making an ar uh, ar foundation works for ar core but make sure this is off this must be off the ar core support it must be off okay so now i've done that i'm just going to hit play go to console and hit play and i'm going to show you what console um comments i get right these aren't technically errors. This is just letting me know that I've got some strange stuff happening. So I can't really, I just want to show you this so you you can actually also see and see if you have something different to me. So I've got seven here. Let me know if you've got seven or more or less. 
if this black screen issue doesn't work as well and we can try and isolate why this is happening right okay so uh, i have a feeling this is happening because we're tr testing our ar core on the in the editor and obviously um well ar foundation in the editor and obviously there is no um planes or it just doesn't work in the editor okay so now i'm going to try and build this um to my phone so i'm gonna go to build settings uh, make sure the sample scene is selected and then click on build and run then i'm going to select where i want to save it i'm going to save it inside that folder i'm just going to click a new folder called builds and i'm going to just do ar black screen test right that's the name of my project and I'm going to save it inside that folder as well, inside this actual project folder. So now it's going to look for a phone, my phone. Gonna make sure my phone is plugged in. It's not actually at the moment, so let's quickly do that. So once it's built to your phone, I'd like you to tell me a few things. The first thing is, do you see this as soon as you start off your phone? Does it, does it ask you to allow the AR foundation samples to use pictures and videos. This should be the first thing you see when you open up your app. Then you obviously you have to click allow. Um, once you click allow, you should then be able, now just, I've just added a screenshot, you should be able to see this screen where you can scan the ground. That's just uh, me scanning some uh, something in my room. Um, so do you see that or not? Um, if you still have a black screen, I'd like you to then go to the settings on your phone, go to the AR app info and tell me what you see here. Do you see permissions and do you see camera as on? Um, I know it's a small thing and I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to be patronizing, but I need to know if you're seeing this kind of stuff. Um, okay, so let me know please. And then I want you to just leave in the comments the following answers to these questions. So these are the six questions I would like you to answer in the comment section below. Are you using the same version of Unity and AR Foundation as me? Hopefully you've obviously followed along the video and you've done that. That needs to be done. Please do that, right? Two, after you, so that sh everyone should say yes to question one, right? Uh, after you change the camera settings to Skybox, do you still see a black screen in the editor? So I wanted to know, some people see the black screen in the editors, other people only see it on the phone I'm, I'd like to know which one of those people you are right so these this comments are really important um, so the second third one is does your phone ask you for the camera permission um, that's obviously quite important as well if your camera is on uh, camera permission is on do you still see a black screen uh, so maybe you um, number three was no but once you change it to yes yourself manually for number four um, maybe the black screen goes right but if it and that's great uh, but please answer the rest of the questions even if that is the case um number five just let me know what phone you have and what version of android you have as well and number six if all of that stuff fails below in the description of this video i have my full project download it open up uh, run it in the editor and let me know if you still get the black screen in the editor or not and let me know if you get the black screen in on your device or not also uh this is an example of how i would like you to answer the comments um it's just so that i can see clearly ha that you understand the questions and you've answered them clearly as well and also other people can see um how you've answered the question and we can try and see similarities between who's got the problem devices versions etc um, so please do that and um, i will accumulate this data let's look at the data and then i'll try and see if i can get back to you individually as well as make a new video once we've got enough information about this uh, this issue and i can tell you uh, hopefully we can all come together actually and come up with the solution together to this okay so hopefully i will see you in the next tutorial with a tutorial with a or a future tutorial with a solution to this problem